What is going on, my gorgeous dudes, dudettes, and non binaries of the interweb? Thank you so much for clicking it to me, AJ. And I am finally here with Brat by Charlie XCX. This is her new album and has been highly requested that we listen to it together. So, y'all already know what we're about to do, darlings, without further ado. Let's get into this first listen. Track number uno, 360. brains because girl I cannot process what the hell is going on Quite an interesting intro. <laughs> Is it something that I would listen to on my own time? Possibly. I can see myself getting acclimated to the sound and actually bump into it. So I'm not gonna write it off, okay? Because I do intend to give this album another shot as I do every album that I listen to. Um, based on my understanding, it seems like Charlie XCX is content with being a lone wolf. She does not follow trends. She does not ride the wave. She is the wave. And she's an innovator, essentially. She's going to create art that is going to be appealing to some and repelling to others. It is what it is, but she's still gonna be her and there's nothing you can do about it. That is my understanding of this song. Track number two, Club Classics.
song is about I guess club classics it's about turning up cuz I turned up but I was trying to follow the lyrics so I got lost Whew. so I'm just gonna assume this song is about turning up and it's about having fun and just letting go and enjoying the rhythm and the sound that's it Whew. I liked it and I put it got that mark track number three sympathy is a knife It seems like Charlie XCX is just singing about insecurities and just comparison, you know, things that most of us do. We compare ourselves to others and that induces insecurities. <sighs> Track number four, I might say something stupid. slow things down. I thought it was going to be another, you know, <laughs> all right, hold on. <laughs> Let me start the song over again. say something stupid and oh I love the fact that she slowed it down and it's more of a ballad with autotune of course um but okay that was that was that was deep seems like Charlie is evolving as a human and the places that fed her spirit don't feed her spirit anymore and it's about time for her to step outside of that environment and become who she truly is track number five talk talk i've been looking at you putting holes in your head now i wanna approach you Hey! Ha ha! 
that much to talk talk. God damn it, what the fuck is she singing about? Talk! So, that was talk, talk, and talk, 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 and talk, and kind of talk the talk, and it walked the walk. It's definitely something that I want to listen to again, and clearly, Charlie needs this motherfucker to talk! Track number six, Von Dutch. It's okay, Mr. Mitty, you're dancing me. Yeah, I didn't talk about me, that's the word on the street. It's alright, just me. Oh, I'm gonna need a break after this, girl. Ooh. Yes. So. This is my favorite on the album. Track number seven, Everything is Romantic. this song is about lyrically all I know is it turned me up and that's all that matters okay 
I really wanted her to drop the beat the second time. I was ready! Charlie! Piss me off, Heffa. One of my favorites. <laughs> Track number eight, Rewind. Sometimes I just want to rewind. I get back in time to when I wasn't insecure to when I didn't overanalyze my face shape. Nowadays I only eat at the good restaurants, but honestly I'm always thinking about my. Oh my Everyone else does it constantly hey! I used to never think about the billboard But now I started thinking again I'm oh, just gonna I think I hey! a commercial success It's running through my mind Sometimes I really I think it would be cool to Come be on. more You know what? Hold on, let me put it again, right. I'm sorry for yelling, y'all. I'm just into the song. So I love this one because Charlie got real. She's just being honest, y'all. <sighs> she wants to go back in time when she didn't have any insecurities, when she didn't she didn't think about accolades like the Billboard charts. Like some of y'all half us are so obsessed. <sighs> Girl, I love this song lyrically. I love it instrumentally. It was a beauty. I was turning up while feeling sad for her. And it's relatable, you know? She's, she's not singing, she's singing about everybody. Everybody can relate to these goddamn lyrics. Sometimes you wanna go back in time to when you were younger with the knowledge you have now, just so you can do things differently. Well, you have time now. It's time for you to start thinking about the now. 10 years from now, you're gonna look back and wish you were 10 years younger. So how about you start now? You have the opportunity now. The present is a present. Track number nine, So I. Always on my mind. Every day, every night, you are not. wasn't a it's not a ballad but you know it's more of the slower song but I wish it wasn't <gasps> kind of wish it was a beat drop there sped up a little bit because oh my gosh it had potential to be one of the devils but she decided to strip it down and you know slow things down mm. yeah 
it's 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 okay it's one of those songs <laughs> that i'm always gonna wish had a beat drop but who knows maybe with time i'm probably gonna appreciate the way it was created with time we'll see track number 10 girl so confusing <laughs> It's so confusing sometimes to be a girl to girls so confusing lyrically the song is about being a girl it's straightforward and sometimes she confuses herself she's like girl what is this goddamn life right now because these hormones are just hormoning okay they are all over the place these emotions are not making sense but i have to let it out <laughs> that's what being a girl is so <laughs> um yeah if you relate, you relate, okay? It's definitely something I'll listen to. Track number 11, Apple. <laughs> focused on the lyrics because it seems like again another um, introspective song deeper than most it's about she's singing about her relationship with her parents you know talking about the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and realizing that whew, trauma was passed down generationally and she is sick of it and she wants to put a stop to it. And how do you put a stop to it? By acknowledge, by acknowledging and seeking help. Because you can't do it by yourself. You need help. Mm-hmm. We all do. Track number 12, B2B. <laughs> go back <laughs> oh.
You eight. Give her her tens. Yep. Yep. Track number 13, Mean Girls. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. and she's out there. Worship's Lana Del Rey. Which mother? Lana Del Rey. Mid-twenties, real intelligent. Head and mystic with the gravel troll and dead eyes. This one's for all my mean girls. This one's for all my bad The beat is so familiar, but I can't remember what song it reminds me of. Can't remember. Um, so uh, it's it's a nice one. It's not a it's not gonna be skipped. It definitely turns you up. Track number 14, I think about it all the time. Whoa. I think about it all the time. Then I might run out of time. But I finally met my baby. And the baby might be mine. I went to my friend's place and I met that baby for the first time. How sublime, what a joy, oh my, oh my. Standing there, she's a radiant mother and he's a beautiful father. And now they both know these things that I don't. I, I think about it all the time. Then I might run out of time. But I finally met my baby. And a baby might be mine. Cause maybe one day I might. If I don't run out of time. When it gets my life a new purpose. I think about it all the time. We had a conversation on the way home. Should I start my birth control? Cause my career feels so small in the existential scheme of it all. gets deep so Charlie oh this is a beautiful track actually the more I ponder on the lyrics um Charlie is essentially singing about growing up and realizing that oh maybe one day she might want to start a family and this was inspired by her friends who recently had a baby you know seeing a family a new family kind of put things into perspective for her and it made her realize that I might want that I actually do want that to the point where she was discussing stopping her birth control with her boo thing oh Charlie I'm happy for you darling track number 15 last track of this album 365 
Singing about cocaína. Oh my god! Girl, I'm going back. Down nine 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 is a good time. Who the fuck are you? I'm a brat when I'm bumping that. No one wanna hit my track. Keep bumping that till the windows crack. I'll be bumping that. No one ever go home. Don't sleep. Don't eat. Just keep on repeating. Yeah, I'm three six five. I don't know how the hell you go from track number 14 to track number 15, girl. You want a family, but you're talking about cocaína. How does that work? That was an outro. Well, we have finally come to the conclusion of this album and I am shocked at how much I enjoyed this project. <laughs> this is album of the year contender for me. <laughs> All right, Charlie X, yes. I love the fact that she was introspective she talked about what she's going through in her personal life. And she wasn't afraid to wear her emotions on her sleeves. I really do appreciate artists who get deep on their projects. Granted, these introspective songs were on some hard ass beats, but I do appreciate the fact that I was able to follow through with some lyrics and I got to know Charlie XCX. This was fun. I liked this. And it's something that I plan on listening to again, especially when working out. I really do enjoy this project. Von Dutch. All right, B2B. <laughs> wow. What were some of my favorite tracks on this album you asked? I think it would be easier for me to tell you the songs that do not have a goddamn mark. Only three songs, which are 360, So I, and Mean Girls. Those are the only songs without a goddamn mark. Everything else, Club Classics, Sympathy is a Knife, I Might Say Something Stupid, Talk Talk, Von Dutch, Everything is Romantic, Rewind, Girl, so confusing, Apple, B2B. I think about it all the time and 365 are my favorites on my initial listen. Charlie, you did that, honey. You did that. Thank you all so much for recommending that I listen to this project. And I'm sorry it took this long, darlings, but girl, it's better late than never, okay? Here we are and we enjoyed ourselves. That's all that matters. For Charlie XX. Clap it up. Clap sit ups. Clap sit ups. Girl, Charlie365. What the hell is that about? 
Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you thought about this project and let me know what your favorite songs were on your initial listen. And I know y'all have given this project another shot. So let me know what songs grew on you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.